sciatica pain that runs down your leg. Today, I'm going to go through three proven ways that are not only going to stop sciatica from happening, but also prevent it in the first place. And as a bonus, I'm going to go through how you can decompress your low back so you can get instant relief. I'm Dr. Matthew Boza. Welcome to my page. My page is dedicated to people and families with help, tips and tricks so you can live the life you were designed to live. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this information with the people we know need it the most. There's two major reasons why people get sciatica. The first major reason is a disc problem. So these shock absorbers that protect the bones and the nerves that come out. So if the nerve is being pressed on or irritated by the actual disc swelling, uh, herniation and various other issues well that's one reason why it happened the second reason why it happens is you can get degeneration and or stenosis meaning a narrowing of the canal where the nerve pops out of the spine so if you sit down and you get more pain and it shoots down your leg then you probably have a disc problem if you stand up and you notice that that's when you get more pain in fact every time you move it gets worse and you need to slouch a little bit more forward, then you most likely have degeneration and or stenosis problem. So what I'm gonna show you today is the McGill Big Three. And these are researched and well-studied ways to not only improve your core, but take pressure off the discs and your joints, which is gonna ultimately help with your sciatica. So the first one here is gonna be a modified curl up. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down on the ground. You're gonna take the one knee and you're gonna bend it. The other one you're gonna bring down. And what you're going to do with the side that the leg is down is you're going to take that hand, you're going to place it underneath your low back. And so that way you're supporting the natural curve of your low back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring yourself up. So you're going to lift up by holding your core. So you need to push your core up, hold this position. You're going to do this from three to 10 seconds, but you're going to breathe like that and then you're gonna let go so that's three to ten seconds and then you're gonna switch sides so then you're gonna bring the other leg up the other leg down and then you're gonna bring your right hand in this case underneath you're gonna lift up hold for three to ten seconds breathing in and out but holding your core so the best way to think about this one when you when I say holding your core is I actually want you to push up with your belly. I want your belly to be up so that way if somebody were to actually poke your stomach, this position poking, nobody can poke through. Versus if you let go, you'll feel that come right in and you don't want that position. You want it to be a push up, bracing your spine. So you're gonna, hold, again, you're holding that for three to 10 seconds, do the best you can, the longer the better, but also what you're gonna do is you're switching sides. I would do five on one and then five on the other. The next one you're going to do is the side bridge. So let's start with the easier way of doing this. So you're going to place your one elbow on the ground and you're going to make sure that that's right underneath your shoulder. So make sure it's not up here and it's not down here. You want it to be literally underneath your shoulder. And all you're going to do is with your legs and your knees directly parallel, you're going to lift up onto your knees. So you're lifting up your side. You're going to hold this and you want to hold this for up to 60 seconds. Now do your best. If you can't do more than 10 seconds, give it a rest, catch your breath a little bit, and then you're gonna try again. Up 60 seconds, you're gonna do one side, and then you're gonna do the opposite side. Again, 60 seconds, one time only. And the last one you're gonna do is the bird dog. Now the bird dog, you wanna go on all fours, and you wanna make sure that your arm or your shoulder is underneath your hands and then your knees are underneath your hips so again you don't want to be starting in this position or far out or anything like that you want to create a nice tabletop your gaze so when you're holding your head you just you want to make sure that your head is slightly up but it's not all the way up and it's also not tucked so we're looking slightly up in front and all you're going to do is you're going to bring one arm up and the opposite leg. So right arm, left leg, we're holding this for three to 10 seconds. Do the best you can. The longer you can hold that, the better. And then you're gonna come down and switch. Now, most people, when they go for the switch and they wanna go to the other side, especially since you, if you got back pain and, and sciatica, 
where you're going to want to switch and then, oh, you might not be able to. So what you want to do is, again, hold your core as you do this. And then when you switch, you're holding nice and straight and even, again, doing this 10 seconds, breathing in, holding your core, bringing it back, breathing through the whole time. Don't hold your breath. You're going to create more pressure when you do that. And then again, switching to the other side, nice, easy, and controlled. So that way your back doesn't move during that process. Again, you're repeating this both sides, a count of 10. Here's the bonus tip. If you can go at the end of your bed, you can go on the couch or even on a counter and do this and use your arms. But simply what you want to do is make sure that from your tummy and down, you're just resting on the edge of the corner of the bed or whatever. And then all you're going to do is grab onto something and let your legs pull down. So let go of your legs. You're just maintaining that. And what's happening is your lower back is going to be opening up. You're going to literally feel that decompress your spine. So if you got spinal issues, disc issues, or even degeneration, you're going to feel that open up. You're going to feel a lot better and that's going to give you instant relief. You can hold that for up to 60 seconds. But if, if there's a lot of pain with that, but you're still feeling the actual relief, just do that incrementally. Start with only 10 seconds and start building up. You're literally gonna feel that start pulling apart and that's gonna get you some really nice relief. Those are the top three exercises you can do at home to start not only taking pressure off the disc and the spine, but also help safeguard your low back for future. So that way sciatica becomes a thing of the past. My recommendation would be to do those exercises twice a day and I would do that for the next two weeks or until you get the relief that you're looking for. If you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, please leave a comment down below. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon.